now at 3160 need to go up to 3500 Tough shit. Early morning into busy. Planet 4.30 a.m. And the bike surprisingly arrived. Day one, leaving Tbilisi. Sunshine and a bit of excitement. A lot of dogs. Coming from down there. Heading up there, thorny bushes, one of the most easy going drivers, 21k to go, <sighs> finally getting quiet. Morning. I was expecting rain today, but looking good so far. So, packing up the camp and then I'm off. Following this river in the bottom of a valley, I think for the next 15k or so, so should be fast going. And <laughs> then it's an uphill. Sun is out. Uh, that village over there should be Roska, which is the place where I'm planning to stay for the night. Day three, left Roska this morning. There's a pass ahead of me, so gonna be a lot of uphill. Heading east towards uh, Dusheti slowly. Today I should get the border permits from the border police from Atsunta Pass. And uh, tomorrow <laughs> it's the long hiker bike. <sighs> it's hot, it's hot. enjoying it. Nobody else around, really quiet and it's gonna be like this for the next two weeks. I think there were people living there because it must be their chicken. I should be soon approaching the military checkpoint to get the necessary paperwork done for the Chechnyan border zone. Let's see if they are open at this hour. So, <clears throat> this is the place to get the border permits for the Chechen border zone for Atunta Pass, but there's nobody around. There's the police checkpoint. There's the accommodation and over there is another hut, but all empty. I uh, have to think of what to do, cause it doesn't make any sense to continue to the pass if I can't get through the police checkpoint there. So I kind of need this border permit. Time to think. I guess I'll use the strategy of hoping for the best. It's 
really cold. And the current is quite strong in the middle. Need to find a campsite soon. It's gonna get dark and cold. At least I got my feet washed. They were all dusty from the full day of the dirt road. My toes are all numb from the cold water. Tomorrow it's gonna be the infamous Atsunta Pass, so let's see how this goes. Still don't have my border permits, so I'm really hoping I don't get to climb all the way up there just to get turned back because of the lack of the permit, but it is what it, it, is, what it is. Good morning. Slept really well. Somehow the sound of the river right next to me was really soothing. So let's go out and make some breakfast. First thing in the morning I need to cross that bridge and then I guess it's at least a day of pushing the bike up the mountain. The highest point should be around 3450 meters so there's gonna be some serious uphill ahead. The plan is to pack everything heavy in my backpack so that I have as little weight on the bike as possible so it's easier to carry the bike. That's the plan and let's see when this starts boiling I'll get some porridge going, coffee going and uh, then I'm off. Situation Dodgy Bridge. started from all the way down there in the valley. It's a tough hike a bike. Some serious mountains over there. And the military checkpoint. Right on top of that hill. What a relief! Got my border permits. The guys there were really nice and I sorted it out in less than 15 minutes. I kind of need. <coughs> I kind of. I kind of need water soon. Hope there's a place to refuel along the way. I can actually see the pass <coughs> up there. Really hope there's water all the way. It's like 500 meters up from here. And I'm not sure if I have enough daylight to make it. There was water on the map. That's as much as there's available. Decided to camp here for the night. I don't think I have enough daylight to get over all the way over that pass. Up there. It's only 500 meters up from here. But I don't think I can make it during the daylight. And actually I, I need to get down from the pass on the other side as well to find a decent campsite. So. That's where I'll be camping for tonight. There's a tiny bit of water in that stream that looks like it's all dried up. So I can get some water from there. And it's not as windy, but I better prepare for a windy night. So 
gonna set up the tent really, really good. Let's see how this night is gonna be. Check the weather forecast with my Garmin inReach and it's forecasting first heavy rain and then heavy snowfall and a bit of gusty wind. <laughs> Let's see how the weather is. But now it's perfect. Updated the weather forecast first. They can still hear the thunder around, and uh, it appears that the next four or five, uh, five hours it's gonna be stormy, but then it should get better, so decided to stay here until then. So, just sit tight, read from my read book from my phone, and uh, maybe eat something. Something cold, because I don't wanna cook in this weather. That's the thunder. Good morning. It was a stormy night. Thunder rolled over me multiple times. But now that seems to have passed. The rain, the rain remains. Let's take a look. Mm. It looks quite wintry. <laughs> and it's definitely cold. Ready to go. Hope it doesn't rain anymore. Thunder was rolling through here all night. Really windy. And of course this snow landed as well on the tent. So now heading up to Atsunta Pass. Today I will I will push through anyhow. Last night's campsite down there. Really really slow going. I think this is the toughest, toughest thing that I remember doing in a good while. Don't want to slip down. Pass. Getting close. Finally over it. Been climbing for two days with the bike. <sighs> Fun stuff. The trail was still snowy, but the snow should be gone once I get further down. Uh, at least it's downhill, downhill on this side, and not much wind at the moment. And that's too shabby. 